In this video, we'll show you how to create your own 360 degree virtual tour of a property. In order to do this, all you need to do is log into your iSpy360 account and click on the Add New Tour button. Now simply give your tour a name and click on Add Tour. Once you have done this, click on the Upload button to select whichever 360 degree panoramas you wish to add to your tour. As you can see, this will now process your photos where they are transformed using our patent pending algorithm to create 360 degree panoramas that we call donuts. Our platform is also automatically adding your logo to each image if you are on one of our pro plans and these logos can be changed whenever from within the settings section of your account. Once the donuts have been created, you can now spend a few moments organizing, resizing and orientating the donuts into the desired positions before proceeding. Donuts provide you with a complete top-down view of your 360 degree panoramas allowing you to see any doors or exit points in each one and enabling you to easily link them together to create your virtual tour as you will see next. All you need to do to link two donuts together is click on the link button and draw a line between them to connect each entry and exit point. For example a door between two 360 degree panoramas. The points where these lines touch the donut will become the hot spots that you will click on to move between your different panoramas. You will then need to repeat this process for the remaining panoramas until you have connected all the rooms. Don't worry too much about how accurately you do this now as you will have an opportunity shortly to drag the hot spots to exactly where you want them. You can rename any of your panoramas by simply clicking on the relevant donut and then clicking edit. Edit the name and then click save or return on your keyboard. Again you can repeat this for all of the remaining donuts and these names will become the labels displayed above the hotspots within your virtual tour. You can also add floor plans to your virtual tours and these are useful tools to allow the users to see the layout of the space. They are also great to use to navigate around your tour as you can see here. You can add a floor plan simply by clicking on the donut that represents the room that you wish to add to the floor plan first. Once you have done this, click Plan and then click the Add Floor Plan button in the top left corner. Now browse to where you have saved your floor plan and click Open. This will now upload your floor plan into the virtual tour. Click on the floor plan thumbnail in the top left corner to open it and then click on the Put Marker button in the right corner and select where on the plan you wish to position the hotspot. If you need to delete any markers, then simply click Delete Marker. As you can see, you just need to repeat this process as necessary across the rest of your panoramas. Once you have completed these steps, you can now enter the 360 degree view to verify that the floor plans are working properly. You will see a floor plan icon on the menu bar at the bottom of the screen. You can now select any donut within the editor and simply click the 360 degree button to preview the full 360 degree panoramas. Once you have finished doing this, you are now able to preview the whole virtual tour and when necessary, reposition the hotspots so that your tour flows exactly as required. We also have a set view feature where a particular angle of a room can be set as the default view when entering that room in cases where you might want to show off a particular feature. As you can see, this can be done simply by turning to the desired position and then clicking the set view button. This can be done in as many rooms as you wish. Once you are happy with your tour, all you need to do is click the Publish button. You will have the option to select whether you want your tour to automatically rotate when it is viewed and also whether you want your hotspot labels to be displayed. Additionally, using the social media buttons, you can easily share any of your virtual tours on Facebook and Twitter, simply and within seconds. When you are ready, you can click on the Email Link button and this will email the link of your virtual tour to anyone you choose and will include the iframe embed code should you need it. You can, of course, also click on the link directly from here to verify that you are happy with your tour before distributing it.